Welcome back. So the open secret in Washington is that Democrats have got a Donald Trump problem. It's nothing new. They've had this problem since 2015. But eight years later, they're going to do anything they can to make sure that Donald Trump never gets back to the White House. And to do that, we're seeing things that we've never seen before in politics. And it's already started. The New York Times, The Washington Post and CNN are all coincidentally attacking Joe Biden at the exact same time sending the administration the exact same message all in unison. They seem to be telling Joe Biden that he can't win in 2024. And it started with this headline in The Washington Post back in September. David Ignatius wrote that Joe Biden should not run for re-election in 2024, which basically cleared the way for everyone else in the media to go after Biden, too. And not long after that, it was The New York Times with a brand new poll that suddenly had Donald Trump beating Biden in five key swing states, and President Biden was suddenly too old to be president. That was fascinating. A few days later, it was CNN who came out with a poll that had Trump beating Biden by four points head to head. Are you noticing a pattern here? After that, it was the real dagger, the dagger through the heart moment, just a day after the whole Barack Obama gang got back together in Chicago, Obama's top advisor, David Axelrod, tweeted this. Only Joe Biden can make this decision. What he needs to decide is whether that is wise, whether it's in his best interest or the country's to stay on and run for president again. And if you think Barack Obama didn't have anything to do with that message and that tweet right there, think again. And after Axelrod spent a couple of days backpedaling in the media abyss, he doubled down. I raised concerns that many, many Democrats had. And again, you know, my feeling is either get out or get going. Joe Biden better get out or get going. It doesn't get any more clear than that. And when you throw in all the other once very friendly Joe Biden supporters who are now running for president, mostly Democrats, the picture becomes even more clear. Think Jill Stein, RFK, Cornell West, Joe Manchin of West Virginia might run, John Huntsman, and Dean Phillips, the Democratic congressman now running for president. The message gets clearer and clearer, and the message is this. Get Joe Biden out of the race while there's still time for someone else to run. And wouldn't you know it, look who was there to welcome Chinese President Xi Jinping when he landed in the U.S. on Tuesday. It wasn't Joe Biden. It was Gavin Newsom to the rescue once again there shaking hands with President Xi. Gavin Newsom, who always seems to pop up at just the right moment. Gavin Newsom, who's debating Ron DeSantis later this month. Gavin Newsom is the other part of this plot that no one wants to talk about out loud. To get Joe Biden out because Democrats think they can beat Donald Trump. They just don't think Joe Biden can beat Donald Trump. And Joe Biden might even agree. I want to talk about Governor Newsom. I want to thank him. He's been one hell of a governor, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, he could do anything you want. He could have the job I'm looking for. That was yesterday. So the secret is now out. Get the 81-year-old out of the White House and get somebody else, maybe name Newsom, in. And don't be full fooled when people say that there's not enough time to get this done. In 1968, LBJ dropped out of the race without warning in March meaning The Washington Post, The New York Times, and CNN all have at least another four months to get Joe out.